What's unique about the hair cell leukemia is that when they get diagnosed, they usually get either cladrumin or pentostatin, and they can use most of the vast majority of these patients can enjoy very long term remission. And then when they relapse, they can be retreated with the cladrumin and pentostatin again, and they can again respond very well and have a long remission duration again. But each time they relapse, the duration of the complete remission gets shorter. So in these patients have already went through three or four different types of either treatment with cladribine or pentostatin, either alone or in combination with rituximab. But once you have all kind of exhausted options of cladribine, pentostatin, and rituximab, then you are kind of left with really no standard options anymore. And there are several other investigation agents that NC has looked at immunotoxins targeting CD22. Uh, there's one clinical trial op investigation agent option for these patients. Um, some have uh, used interferon, which is actually one of the very first treatment that we have used for hairy cell. Um, and this now comes up to the last treatment is uh, an effective in a certain number of select patients. So there are very limited treatment options for those patients who have come through many lines of therapy. Um, so th this kind of fits in the very unique uh, population, highly refractory patients. And it's, uh, it's, it appears to be worked very well in these patient populations.